What's up guys, Manny from Motor Million and it's rear set time. It's time for a rear set on our Tuono and we did think quite a bit to see what we're gonna run because there's quite a bit of options. I think we ended up deciding with the Litec track system. There is the R series as well, but if you have a Ultra Gold, I think these ones fit better. Also, we have future plans because we're gonna run carbon fiber frame covers and swing arm covers as well. So it's gonna be pretty blacked out and these are black and monotone or monochrome as I wanna call it because it's just black and silver. So we decided with these. And while we're there, we're gonna test something out because I still have yet to take this bike for a ride after we installed our windshield and our exhaust system. So it's a good time to also add the Cordona Quick Shifter because if you watch my first ride, I think the Quick Shifter is okay and it could be better. It did wonders for us on our Penigale V2 build if you guys have seen that build. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's gonna do wonders for our beautiful Tuona here. But less talking, more working. Let me get these on the bike. Let's get this on the bike. Then maybe we're one step closer to going out for a ride. Well, not everything is easy on the Tuonos or on the Aprilias guys, and now, unfortunately, or fortunately, the cat's out of the bag. The quick shifter is not an easy thing to get to. Well, it's kind of easy because lifting the tank is very easy on these bikes, but it's buried all the way inside behind this air box, and that's when the cat comes out of the bag. If you know, you know, this has a blue air box cover, and yes, we've been running the Gabro airbox on this bike because we just wanted to test things and this is how we do things over here guys. We test what we sell and just like every other video, all the products that we use on our video is in the link in the description below. And so we didn't want to make a video showing how to install it. There's plenty of videos like that, but before we said, hey, let's offer these products to you, we wanted to test it because we haven't touched the Tono or the RSV4 platform for quite a bit. Yes, we did install the Gabro airbox and the stacks, and we do feel a difference on the upper end. Here's our stock stuff that we replaced. We did that in when we installed our slip-on and we uploaded the map for it. I really haven't taken it for a good, good ride to show you guys, but we did go back-to-back -back rides just so that my butt dyno can tell things are better. But uh, so that's kind of what the cat out of the bag is. And now we have this product available. I am a believer. I've heard enough of you guys tell us about Gabro maps and the up map and the airbox mod. So what else does this airbox mod do? So it changes the filter. These bikes come with a smaller filter element. You run the RSV4 size filter. It's a bigger filtration area, just like the Penigale V2 that we have behind us where we ran the World Superbike spec filter where it's 210% larger. This is now running a larger filter element too, so it has more filtration number one, but also there's more airflow. So let's get back to it. Let me get this quick shifter out of the way. Now that you guys know that we have the air box and that I'm very happy with it, I can continue on, we could change our rear sets because we got a long way to go and we got a lot more mods to do, not on this video, and uh, I guess there's no more secrets. We're getting there, guys. And uh, as we go along, I've been testing things out. And if you guys watched the Grape Ape video, we had this beautiful Rizoma sprocket cover. It doesn't fit the 21 to 24 RSV4s, but I'm happy to report this does fit the Tuono V4s that are 21 to 24. All you gotta do is there are these little standoffs that it has in place that is in here that we remove and it fits beautifully. I mean, I could have waited probably when we did our chain and sprocket on this bike because we were gonna go with a 520 setup. When we changed the wheels, yes, we got some very special wheels for this bike as well. They're all painted and ready to go, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You gotta wait a little bit for it when you see it, but I'm telling you that it really is gonna make this bike pop even more. But uh, I'm happy to report this fits. Since we're already here and we have the sprocket cover off to get all the wiring done, 
I'm going to go ahead and install this. It's going to go pretty well with our rear sets. And if you look, this is upside down. We're going to put it right side up. And uh, one more thing I want to mention. If you guys watched our first ride video, we've been having some complaints about shifting of this bike. And again, for the sake of testing things out, we actually are running a shifter support. It's a little bracket that Gillies Tooling makes. It's this thing right here. Again, I'm very happy to report that apparently this is one of the secret mods that you do that really does help with the shifting of this bike. It's made by Gillies Tooling and it goes right where your shifter is. It apparently, the way that the shifter is, it doesn't sit straight and it's, it deflects when you're trying to shift it. It really, really helps with getting that clunkiness out of the shifter, but I hope with the Cordona quick shifter that we put, all the electronic sides are gonna, gonna get even better. And I'll report to you guys when I take it for a ride and uh, let you guys know how everything feels and also how beautiful that SC project sounds and if it even sounds much louder. Let me continue on and then I'll check back in with you guys if there's anything for me to mention for you guys along the way. Guys, by the way, I don't know if you guys knew, the Aprilia has a hood prop, and uh, this doesn't come from the dealer. I want to thank Paul from the diner that we used to visit, which is Blaze Tuning. He actually gave me this when he knew that we got into Aprilia's. It works great as a hood prop. So when you put up your tank, he made this specially for this, that it holds up the tank right here. I guess uh, he foresaw the future that we got to deal with Aprilia's and keeping the tank up. So uh, thank you, Paul, if you're watching. Let me run this wiring. This side is pretty much all set. I had everything set to my liking. I kind of sat on the bike to make sure all the angles are correct. Just one thing, when you are setting your quick shifter, try to make this angle that is right here and the angle of this arm as parallel as possible because if they're at a different angle, they're gonna fight each other. So as parallel as possible to get everything correctly set for your ergonomics. If you need to, you could probably remove this out of here from the teeth just to get that, those angles correctly. That's just a tip. And I wanna remind you guys that our videos are never instructional videos. We just show you guys the processes of our build, but I won't shy away from giving you a tip or two. But uh, let's run this wiring, let's tidy everything up, put our Rizoma sprocket cover on, and then we're gonna jump on to the brake side. sets are installed the right side the brake side was a little easier than the left side where we have the quick shifter because the quick shifter the wiring is all the way up buried under the tank as you saw it but uh, everything's looking good just a quick tip when you're doing your rear sets on any bike number one don't forget the Loctite number two make sure that when you set your brakes you don't have any brake drag that this wheel is spinning freely because you want to make sure that number one, the brake is working. Number two, if you're running any kind of composite wheel, the brake drag will cause that wheel to fall apart. What do I mean by composite? I mean carbon fiber wheels. They are very common now and some bikes do come with it from the factory. And number two, you'll cook your rear brake rotor and your pads alongside with your brake fluid as well. So this side is on. Let's check out the other side. Let's take a glance at them because I think they look really good. Even though this is yellow and not gold, I think it matches the theme of the bike really well. It's really subtle and as I mentioned, we're gonna be running carbon fiber frame covers and the string arm covers for this bike as well so that this silver stands out a little more with some of the other silver pieces that are gonna poke out from them. While we're on the brake side and it looks great, I really didn't get to look at it too much because uh, I just want to get the right side down, but it looks great, especially this Rizoma sprocket cover. It's gonna look even better when we do our 520 conversion kit. Don't forget, that's gonna happen alongside with our wheels. I'll give you a hint. The wheels are 
kind of color match to the bike, so you could try to guess what we did to the wheels. They're already ready. They're inside this building, but we're not gonna show them to you just yet. Also, the Cordona Quick Shifter looks great with this silver over here because they're both silver, and I can't wait to take it out for a ride and test everything out. You could be sure that I'll take you out for a ride as well because we did our slip-on exhaust our WRS windscreen in the previous episodes, and I wanna see what differences those made, and also the rear sets and the quick shifter as well. But that's it for this episode. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, guys, have a good one.